peoples, welcome to an update video on this uh, new build that I'm actually working on at the moment. Uh, it's actually a Sukhoi uh, SG-34 strike flanker um, by Tamiya. Uh, this is the box here. So that's it there. It's actually a um, really, really, really nice kit to build. Um, haven't had any drums with it so far. And so basically what we're up to now is I've basically spent all morning um, just putting the all the up like all the bombs and that together, missiles or so there's just a handful of weapons here. So if I just get them all out. Like it's just gonna be a big pile of mess in my hand because this thing has just got that many bombs and oops, just go throwing around the place, awesome. That's just a big big stack so they were obviously they're all going to go underneath I've uh, also uh, put the landing gears together and they're nice and chunky nice and chunky 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 that's on there and you got the canopy all the cut out sanded so she's all ready to be um, glued and painted uh, also, um, and if, if you want to um, watch watch me build this thing, it's um, it's I'll probably end up putting the live hang oh not the live but the actual hangout um, link below as well if I remember to do it, and it's pretty much just me assembling it. Um, yeah, a lot of cursing with all the boys as well. And I've had a lot of fun building this, <coughs> but before I go any any further, I uh, just want to once again I've had a really really good time on the Google Plus Hangouts. It's um, just want to make a few shout outs. Um, big one, big one goes to Ant. <laughs> so if you're watching this, Ant, I do apologise for last time, and I didn't have any names written down. But hey, no excuses. It's my fault. My bad. So yeah, I do apologise. So. So Ant, obviously Paul, Seb, uh, Cohen, slash Mike, now uh, Wes, Hendrix, and Marcus, uh, new bloke I met today actually, um, Jermaine, so, um, and Rich as well, new, another new guy, so it's been um, always new faces popping up and and it's pretty cool to see what other people are building and it's, and just ha building with other people at the same time all around the world, which makes it yeah kind of interesting. So getting back to this, um, yeah, one to, being one to seventy two, and it's it's almost the size of an F sixteen, one to forty eight. So like it's it's yeah, this thing's like I'd love to see this in a one to one to forty eight scale. This thing just be massive. Um, so what we're up to so far, I've already got it primed, I've only just primed it not long ago using um, Vallejo, uh, just their grey primer, straight out of the bottle. Had to thin it out just a little bit, um, and got all the, the racks put on, the weapons, I'm actually going to try and um, paint it all with the racks on, just so that the bond's a lot more stronger, so I'm not sort of gluing onto paint. Um, and being polyurethane as well, it's uh, no, I find that the paint does or the glue doesn't um, eat through as well. If so, I've decided to glue all that on. Um, got all the wings um, glued on as well. I am going to have to do a bit of clean up here. I'm not really too happy with the joins on the wings here, so I'll probably end up letting this dry overnight before I even try and attempt to sand it. Um, and all the cockpit inside is painted and all I've done here is just used a um, just a makeup removal applicator um, cotton pad and chopped it up with a pair of scissors and then using the trusty old airbrush needle that you see many many times in my videos I just basically jammed it carefully in there stuffed it in there so no paint's going to get in and cover the um, the cockpit details inside like the seats and all the controls um, and I've also left the jet 
the jet engines off or the the actual um, yeah the jets off the back and they're on the back here I'm gonna do those in all clads so it's gonna concentrate more on this before I start working on anything else I just want to get all the colors down properly and not have too much to do just concentrate on one thing at a time so if you can see see there like this camera's pretty crappy to zoom in I should be using my other camera but it's just um, is already plugged in, is ready to go. Um, so that's it. That's it there. And if I get a ruler, you actually see how a bit more of an idea on how big it is. This is a 30 centimeter steel ruler. So if I sort of put them side by side, I bring her back a bit, I actually whack it straight on top. You know, she's a bit over 30 centimeters. She's probably about 32, 32 centimeters. I mean, it's a pretty big aircraft for one to 72. Um, so, all I've got left to do now, besides painting it and building wise, is on the sprues here. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I've just got the wheels. Uh, I've got yeah, dual bogey wheels on the back because this thing does have a lot more weapons um, than this 27. Or the SU-35, I think it is. Um, yeah, so being yeah, so being the flanker version, the bomber version, it's got yeah two bogey wheels on the back instead of your singles on the back, which is why the back steering actually looks a bit different. So when she does go on, you're going to have these are your back back landing gears. I'm going to paint all this separately as well, but she goes on like um, she goes on like that. So I'm going to have a gear down. So you can see there's going to be a wheel that goes there, and there's going to be a wheel that goes there. So that's going to be pretty cool. And she's all done. Um, and there the wheels there, just on cocktail sticks. Ready to be primed and painted. And then also all I've got left here. I've just got some landing landing gear bay doors. Um that's there and there. There, there, and there. I've also oh and some there as well. And I've also got the that to go on the nose and that part there actually goes on the on the back of the front of the landing gear I'm not too sure what, exactly what that is um, and then just all these little braces and things like that um, sensory um, systems that go on the external of the aircraft so it's not much to put on there uh, the, the fiddliest bit I think um, in this build is going to be Painting the um, ordnance because um, there's just a lot of detail in these. Um, you've got a few um, ejector pin marks which I've got to sand out as well, just along. I guess you can see them there. I so you can see them. Yeah, if it picks it up there. So I think that's going to be about a day. Maybe a day's worth of painting in there just to get them up to scratch. And the yeah, the jets exhaust um, will shouldn't take too long at all. Um, so I left them off because obviously I don't want to paint them twice and I don't have to mask them up or anything. I just want to be able to paint them and then sort of sand a bit of this glue off, take some of the paint off the back and then just bang glue them on and they're all done. But um, yeah, I was actually pretty happy the way it turned out so far so that's the update on the video on this build guys and um, we'll see you on the next one catch you later thanks for watching